Hey lovelies, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make bharli bhendi. So that's nothing but stuffed okra. Ladies finger, if in common <laughs> words. So yeah, um, I used to love this recipe. My dad used to make this for me and I kind of miss having all this Indian food here. So I'm going to try to make bharli bhendi with things that you can find here in Lithuania in nearby supermarket so let's go to the next part of the video in a heated pan i'm gonna add some white sesame seeds and then i'm gonna roast them till they are goldenish brown now i'm gonna add some peanuts to it and let's roast the peanuts along with the sesame seeds Here you can see that my peanuts and sesame seeds are roasted real good. At this stage I'm going to add some dry desiccated coconut to it and roast it along with the peanuts and sesame seed. Uh, you can also put uh, the fresh coconut but fresh coconut has a lot of moisture content so here I'm using the dry ones. Now you see that I've roasted uh, all the three ingredients together real nice. They have changed and turned into a brownish color. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to put them all into a blender along with one chili or two chilies according to your preference. And then I'm going to powder them real nice. I'm going to blend them into a fine powder like this. Next, in a bowl, I'm going to add one teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of turmeric, one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder, and one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put all these dry ingredients in the bowl, and then I'm going to add the ginger and garlic paste to this, and I'm going to mix all these contents real nice. So once you mix all the ingredients in the bowl together, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the blended mixture from our jar to the bowl and I'm going to mix all of these together real nice. So here you can see I've mixed everything together. They smell delicious. I could just eat this right away. <laughs> So what I've done now is guys, I've cut the top and bottom piece of okra and I've made a straight cut through the okra. So as you can see, I can open this like this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, the mixture in the spoon and I'm going to stuff it inside the okra, inside the lady's finger. Yes, just like that and then I'm going to press it until I feel that the stuffings are fully filled within the okra. So as you can see now, the okra is fully stuffed. I'm going to just gently press it just this way so that the stuffing doesn't fall out. And yeah, that's how your stuffed okra should look like. So let's repeat the same process for all the okra pieces and let's stuff them all with this amazing flavorsome <laughs> mixture that we have made. So guys, I've finished stuffing the okra with the mixture. I have some of the mixture remaining, but that's okay because we will need it in the next uh, stage of this cooking process. But as you can see here, all the okras are fully stuffed. So after the stuffing, what I've done is I've cut the stuffed okra into smaller pieces, just like this. So guys, what I've done here is I've stuffed the okra and then I have cut them into some small pieces, you see, like this. 
and I'm just gonna leave them up for about um, 10 to 15 minutes aside so that the stuffing gets really set within the okra pieces. Then in a heated pan, I'm going to add some oil and then I will be adding some mustard and cumin seeds. To this, I will be also adding some green chilies and some dried curry leaves. Once all the ingredients are sorted good, then I will be adding my stuffed okra to this hot oil. Give it a couple of stirs, saute the okra real nice and then let's put a lid on top of the pan and let the okra get cooked. Uh, please do not add water at any point in this entire recipe because we do not want watery uh, stuffing. So please make sure that your stove or your gas is in the medium and then cook the okra slowly. I now see that my okra is cooked good. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to add the remaining mixture that I have in my bowl. This is basically the ones which we stuffed between the okra. So I'm going to add this into the pan and I'm going to let this newly added mixture also cook in the pan. Always make sure that your pan is in the medium flame because we don't want the mixture or any of the contents in the pan to get burnt. <laughs> So let's close the lid of the pan and let the okra cook for about 5 minutes. So it's already been 5 minutes and I see that my okra is cooked good. So here you go, the stuffed okra curry is ready. I highly recommend you guys to try this recipe out. This is super delicious and amazing recipe. It is a very quick recipe too. You can make it within 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. So uh, please do try it and let me know how it was in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do like and share my videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye lovelies. Love you all.